Hello Scorpions, welcome to Brutally True Tarot and this reading is from 19th of May to 25th of May. So let's check what are the messages for you. Messages for Scorpions. Nine of Wands in reverse, let's keep it here. Ten of Cups, Seven of Cups, The Moon in Reverse, Queen of Pentacles, and we have this Nine of Wands here. Okay, so Ten of Cups is about having a future. It's about commitment. It's about getting what you need, and. Um, for many of you, this person might have given you a commitment and um, no, they might act strange. In this week, you won't know why this person is acting like that. With the Seven of Cups, you may start doubting what their intentions are and um, what they are actually thinking. If they are giving you this commitment, why they are not fulfilling it? Why they are being so weird or why they are running away? This could be someone who might have promised something in this week and um, they won't fulfill it. Or they might avoid your calls, they might avoid your messages, they might try to divert conversation when you will bring out um, one specific topic about commitment or something that they promised you. And uh, you won't know what's happening exactly. We have the moon in reverse here. Certainly, there is something happening in their life, something in the background. This person gave you commitment, thought that um, this relationship would work. But now, other things are also impacting them. This person might be listening too much to others. And in fact, um, this person may be getting some negative ideas from others. Like, um, this relationship is not meant for them. Or this relationship is not going to work in the longer run because you are this queen of pentacles you are someone who is always thinking practically who is there to take some kind of advantage or who will not be by their side all their life you will definitely bro break their heart a lot is going on behind your back and um, this person looks like um, they're listening too much to these rumors the thing is, these ideas are coming from someone really close to them, someone who they trust, someone who has done a lot for them, and they feel that this person is a well-wisher. This person has been there when they needed them, and um, this person must be right. Or if they are saying something, it must have some meaning, or it must have some truth. That is why this person is acting strange, though I don't see them going or I don't see them breaking um, out of this relationship this person would not uh, break up or they're not going to tell you that um, they have decided something because they haven't this person has not decided anything and uh, they're still thinking about it it's not like um, someone close to them would tell them that this is not going to work and um, they will call you and tell you that, hey, this is not going to work. This is not like that. However, this person is getting influenced by this person. But they are still not making any decision. In this week, I don't see them making any decision. In fact, in the beginning, this person was defending this relationship. They were defending um, you. This person was telling others that... Um, you know, you are the perfect one for them. It's going to work. And um, they don't need to doubt you in any way. Or doubt the future with you in any way. But now, this person has left it. They are not giving any explanation. They are not um, trying to uh, prove anything to these people. In the state of that, I see them learning. Here you see this person is reading this... Uh, I don't know what is this. This is a role kind of list or 
kind of history. This person is going into the past. They are looking at your history, their history and everything. And uh, this person is uh, going through it carefully. This person is still using their brain. It doesn't matter if they are defending you right now or, or not. It's simply about knowing the truth and they are trying their best to know it. They are trying their best to figure it out. However, this is a general reading. This may not resonate with everyone. The energy could be reversed as well. Also, you can check your moon and rising sign. Let's go ahead and check some more messages for you. Temperance. King of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles and the Emperor. So this King of Swords is silent. Maybe in this week they are silent or they are already silent. I mean, this has already happened. It doesn't matter. This person is not going to move on. If you are wondering what's going inside their mind, if they are thinking of leaving this relationship, do they have um, any kind of problem or are they going to find someone better or have they found someone better? This person is not thinking about moving on. No matter what they are thinking right now, what their ideas are right now, they are loyal to you. This person just cannot think of um, anyone else. In fact, with this card of temperance, things are changing. Energies are shifting and um, this is happening for the better. I mean, before making a commitment or before finally taking the decision, it's about um, knowing everything. It's about realizing who you are and um, it's about knowing where you want to be, if you want to be in this relationship or not. It's about removing all the obstacles before you start this love journey. Because I do see it coming with this nine of pentacles, whatever you are manifesting, it's going to happen okay maybe there are dangers that are keeping you away from your pentacles from your blessings but those and dangers are temporary because your blessings are not going anywhere okay those are around you and um, you are going to find them eventually we have this card of emperor this could be someone who has um, a huge ego but uh, they have wisdom as well so it's not like someone would trigger them and um, they will forget everything that you did for them. This person is aware of um, who you are, but uh, whatever doubts others are trying to sow in their heart, they are trying to figure out uh, the truth about it. Okay, this person is smart enough to know that in the end it's going to affect their life only. Okay, whatever this decision would be, it is going to affect them only in the longer run. Those people won't be there. So this person is um, very smart and this emperor might be confused right now. They might have some fears, they might have some doubts, but uh, they are not moving on. They are still finding a reason to stay. They are still finding um, something to keep this relationship working. Even if the whole world is against this connection, this person would still look for something better. It's another thing that these negative things are affecting them and they are behaving in this strange way, but that doesn't mean that they will leave you alone. In fact, this Knight of Pentacles may delay this commitment, okay? But I see only delay. I don't see like um, this person is not going to give you this commitment. These things, these obstacles, this negativity may delay it, but um, you will get it eventually. Okay, let's check an oracle message for you. Okay. Begin here. Do not fear what travel brings, my dear. The moment is yours. Begin now, here. So this card is telling you to start this journey. Okay. It's about... Um, letting what's happening happen i mean don't try to control anything do not try to give explanation do not try to chase anything or anyone 
Do not be afraid of what future will bring. It's your journey. Start it right now. The first thing you should be doing is to have faith in yourself and um, is to make sure that you are loving yourself enough. You are protecting your self-esteem. Other things will be dealt by this person because it's their problem, not yours. Okay, so you shouldn't be trying to give them any explanation at this point. They should find reasons themselves. So this was the reading for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Till next video. Bye.